Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, I'm going to be doing some more of these combat sites for the Min Metal Liberation Day, and I'm going to be doing it in a Caracal Navy issue. I have done a bunch of these sites previously in this fit, so it definitely works, and it is so far been the most successful one as well. In terms of competition, I've never lost single competition in this, and I think there are many factors, because I see a lot of people, they're going with the Stabber fleet issue, and the Stabber fleet issue would seem like a natural ship to use for these events, because it's an armor tank ship, has a big, you know, EM resist, because mostly armor tanks usually have big EM resists, because the NPCs in these sites do mostly EM damage, it would seem to be a natural ship because they're also using the auto cannons with the Stabber Fleet issue, so you're doing a explosive damage. It would seem like a really good choice, right? The thing is, the Caracal Navy issue, I think it is a bit better though, and it's just to do with the way auto cannons work. They've got a bit of a range, anything you have to be really close to get the full damage. We're going to be doing full damage all the time as long as we're in this 18 kilometer range, and usually we get within this 18 kilometer range almost instantly anyway. And then we can also overheat, and you can see a 900 DPS. So I've got some serious DPS going on, it's nothing to just shy away from. It is a very powerful ship in terms of its offenses right here. And also something that I like is that the Caracal Navy issue is a lot cheaper than the, the Star Fleet issue too. It only went for 18 million when I bought it, so it is quite a bit cheaper, very nice in that regard. And uh, I think that pretty much this is the best ship you could use. The only thing that I think you could use better than this is if you go and put polarized heavy assault missiles on. But then I worry a little bit about the tank. I think it definitely is possible, but I worry a bit about the tank. You can get 1k DPS then with you go with the polarized heavy assault missiles. But I think for what the, it's worth, the little DPS bonus, I don't feel like I need more DPS with this one. But definitely if you want to win every single competition, you would want to go with the polarized heavy assault missiles. Otherwise, this seems like a real beast of a ship. Now, I was worried because this doesn't have good natural resistances, especially for the EM resist so yeah zero percent e natural em resist so really bad there but i just put a few modules on and then i put this piston c type medium shield booster and we're actually tanking this just fine the only wave that can be a little bit deadly is the boss if we just approach straight at it but i usually i try to approach sort of in an arc and then the boss is not really much uh many much problems at all actually it's uh I'm really happy with this ship. This ship does them pretty fast and also just outcompetes almost everyone. So I'm really happy with it overall. Um, the reason why I started using this ship is because I saw that everyone was using the, or not everyone, but I saw that I often lost the competitions when I was up against Caracals or particularly the Caracal Navy issue. So it says a lot from that experience right there. It has been a very smooth ride since I started using it right here. It's... Uh, very powerful ship and it's got good application bonuses too which help it apply better and with this federation navy stasis webifier you get some really good uh application to even the small stuff it's quite important to have this uh, federation navy or at least a webifier that hits up to 12 kilometers because they're these inquisitors these ones right here they orbit you at exactly 12 kilometers and then they webify you too so it's really hard to get to these guys if you don't have a faction web can obviously overheat the t2 web but even then it's still not a nice experience with the t2 having to overheat all the time for these guys because these guys are also really annoying they tracking disrupt you make you apply worse and have shorter range it is a lot more difficult with these inquisitors on the grid so that's why um they're a bit of a high threat target a high threat target uh, you can uh, take out these warrior twos but i would say the they don't do a whole lot of damage probably these punishes actually are better to go for if you have got a bit of problems with tank but they're very annoying, at least they slow down stuff a lot, and they're also very tanky. Go pretty fast, like they've got all afterburners, I think, these guys, and then they're pretty fast too. I don't know why he's going so far away, I think it was because he's going for the Vex Navy issue over there. You can even move towards the second acceleration gate over here, because some of these sites, they have like really uh, a lot of acceleration gates, some of them just have one site, it's a bit varied how they are. Now this activity is really good. I'm really happy with the ISK here. And I like how there's always a good of, amount of guaranteed ISK going on. Um, you always get like almost always 20 million ISK. Sometimes you can get a little bit less than 20 million. Sometimes you get a little bit more than 20 million. But on average, always at least 20 million. Because you get these coins you can sell. These tokens. Like basically 20 million guaranteed. And then you can potentially get even more as well. Because we're getting webify as well. Let's taste the start here. So you want to be a little bit careful with that. But you can always get better drops as well like you get these boosters i got a booster that uh, is like a cerebral accelerator it gave me 90 million just like that 
ching ching <laughs> just like that so on top of that 20 million an extra 90 million so this is a really profitable activity and especially for people who are new players like bring your a really tanked t1 cruiser because if you're a new player you're probably gonna have pretty bad skills make sure you have like a very tanked em uh, shield based or em armor based uh, ship and just deal a bunch of uh damage to this small stuff right here and you'll be earning a ton of risk like if i started out right now as an alpha clone where i started playing evil nine right now and i did this and i saw the amount of risk i was getting from these sites i'd be like wow because this is really stuff that would be good for new players since it's like made to use a tech one or the navy cruise like it's not made to use all these bling like pirate and tech two ships they only allow max t1 cruisers or navy cruisers like i've got now so navy cruisers are probably what more like uh, experienced players are going to use to get the one up but still this can definitely be done in t1 uh, cruises i've been seeing them done all the time in fact i've been seeing people do them in just standard caracals as well and caracals still can be pretty decent especially if you put like a heavy assault missile variant as well you can see here hmm, they're all flying away very annoying let's take out the stasis tower as well it's very annoying when you've got this webify is going on and i'll take and the thing is i worry a bit about the drones because there's a bit of drone aggro here i'm gonna just say it for the boss maybe if they get close because if they're really far this is one thing i hate with using drones when they're very far away the npcs is that if they're far away and then they start attacking your drones then it's going to take you a long time to recall them and maybe in that time it takes to recall them they're going to get popped or something like that okay hmm. yeah this inquisitor is going down pretty fast so it's all right but he does the guidance disruptions it's quite annoying makes it go a whole lot slower but really if i was a new player alpha clone i would just farm the hell out of these sites because they're just so good for what you use to run them the isk is just so good so really if you are a new player like an alpha clone or just like someone who's able to use cruisers just put a ship that's together tanked really good for em and go earn some dank isk because you will earn a ton of isk i wouldn't be surprised actually if some new players who are alpha clones will earn enough isk during this event period to even plex their account like with the isk i wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me because of how much you can get from this like guaranteed 20 million and each one of these sites doesn't take a whole long time either depending on how easily you find them maybe 10 minutes per site or something like that and then there's also the ability to get more of these boosters as well like uh, like more on top of that 20 million as well it is some really good disc really good disc he's already straight here oh i should have i didn't have reloaded no okay we'll approach him at least actually orbit there we go. Oh, yeah, the, the Vexel Navy is just taking a bit of time at least. But that's also one thing that's also very good. Like, um, it has a bit to do with the, like, the range I've been mentioning. Like, with auto cannons, you have to be really close to do damage fast. Like, this guy is probably using blasters or auto cannons of some sort. And they're having to go very, very close to be able to do anything. I'm just able to do full damage almost straight away. And I obviously overheat this stuff just to get the max amount of, like, uh, damage output out of this there we go and take this and claim the reward so let's see now this thing right here i wonder how much they're worth they're worth a bit of this because you get 12 million right there then obviously we get one of these token things that are usually worth something Bas and we got even two of these basic rebels actually i think i had one of these ones before or something so oh there's another one nice we're gonna get another one right here hopefully i'll take the drones as well come on overheat the uh the afterburner to get in range because we're not doing a whole lot of damage here we've got a second boss they can sometimes have second bosses here just something to keep in mind sometimes you can have secondary bosses come on get closer get closer no stop moving at this slow speed you stupid caracal move faster what are you doing caracal caracal please why is it moving this slow i'm like colliding with something or something like that is uh, oh that is a <laughs> now we're probably gonna lose the competition just because of this stupid slowing right here okay now maybe we can get a little bit closer i think that the guy's in the pvp fish here because he's using like neutralizing or maybe it's the other npc that's trying to neutralize him i think we maybe lost this one right here no we want it as well okay let's see if he steals it It'll be interesting if he steals it oh take this right here so look here another 20 million just like that and we've got some skins as well that can be worth a little bit and some boosters here that can also be worth a little bit these ones are pretty crap but you can potentially get boosters too so it's nice it's nice what you can get here it's very profitable and i would highly recommend this for anyone especially new players who want to earn some cash right now do this do this this is really good and if you want to learn more about this go into the events channel right here 
This is a channel where you can ask all about all the current events that are going on. The way you can join it is you go in the chat channel icon up here and then you see here content and then there's a events channel right here. You just join it. And then this guy here, Neogenico, seems to know a lot about it. Like ask them or anyone in the channel, but especially Neogenico seems to be very involved in this event stuff here. He's talking all day about this stuff that's going on in these different events. Not just this event, but like previous events as well. So if you've got any like questions or anything, ask this channel right here. They could help you out and give potentially some fit advice as well. But it's pretty simple. Just tank a lot of EM. Do explosive or kinetic damage. Uh, primary, primarily explosive, but you can also do kinetic. There's not a big difference in their resist profile if you're doing kinetic as well. So say you're using some kind of Kaldari ship that's kinetic locked, for example. I don't know if they're in here. Kind of cruisers that are kinetic locked, but you can use that as well. It's not like a big difference when you're going explosive. And these sites spawn very abundantly or two. So you can just go in uh, like through Minmatar space and look for these. These sites are only found in Minmatar space. That's one thing to keep in mind. They are only found in Minmatar space. But you can find them all over the place. I'm finding them very commonly near the... Oh, there's the boss here. Will we be able to sneak this right here? Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> He's already been hammered by all these people over here. And then there's a stab of fleet issue on Bellicos. Yeah, I thought so. It was unfortunate that we just came in just when the... Uh, just when the uh, site despawned. But there's another one right here. Oh, wait, no, it's not. All right. You can find these, like, say if you've got too much competition, you can't be bothered with the competition, say you're a new player or something like that, and it's too rough for you to find one of these that will not have a bunch of competition. Just go to a remote area of space where you find low, low, very few people in local, then likely it'll be a lot, of, uh, a lot easier for you to win these competitions with a few players there. So that's what I would do, because I remember when I started playing EVE Online a lot more in 2016, and then there was the Blood Raider event, and I was obviously a new player who could not compete for anything. I was using at one point like a Punisher or some like really basic stuff, T1 stuff, and I always got out-competed by all these people with their T3 cruisers, this like crazy stuff they were using. My Punisher had no chance. So what I did was I just went to locations of high sec where... I found few players and it worked out great. It worked out great. Obviously, it took uh, a lot longer time because, you know, I was a new player and I was not doing the sites particularly fast, but I was at least getting the loot. So that was a lot more, you know, satisfying in that regard. And if you are not of the combat type, you can also, also go for these data sites here. I haven't done them, but my guess is that you just go and scan down signatures in these areas and you'll eventually be able to find some of these uh, data sites which you could hack and potentially get some good disk all right let's go into here so we see here if we just stack all our loot we're already sitting on 60 million just like that i think i already had 20 million though from a previous site so this is the variant where you only got one gate oh, i think there's only one gate is there any other gate is there any other gate anywhere nope okay i'll just move here and just wreck these guys yep let's see now i've got heavy assault Okay, we can start shooting this cruise over here. Go down very fast with the heavy assault. All right, easy peasy, easy peasy. Let's see now. We're going to get hard tracking disrupted though, 12 kilometer range only. That's going to be pretty annoying. I'm going to probably want to take out these guys first. We can even switch over to color our navy actually, because that will be a lot easier just due to range, but also application to destroy these inquisitors over here. They're a real nightmare to take care of. Pretty tanky. Very annoying in what they do to your ship's electronics. Okay, now we'll switch over to Calari Navy, Nova. I'll go for this one. Okay, look here, they got a bit of drone aggro. Be careful for the drone aggro. Be careful for the drone aggro. They can hit hard with the drones. I have lost drones previously. You'd want to use explosive drones, that are these Warrior 2s, if you were to use drones, like light drones. Valkyries if it's medium, Berserk as if it's heavy. Okay, there we go. They are going down now. You can see here with the Kaldari Navy, we have a bit of a longer range going on, 14 kilometers. It's not very, it'll be very borderline with these guys right here, but it's all we can really do when they're going this mass tracking disrupting going on on us. Uh, we can't even webify it. There we go, now we can webify it. Okay, what is our range now? 15 kilometers because we destroyed one, so that's nice. We already took out one of these. It's just going to get better and better if we destroy every one of these. Okay. Let's see now, is there anything interesting nearby? There's some interesting scenery. 
some abandoned stuff. It looks very dark, actually. I'm used to structures in Evil Line having a lot of like small blinky lights, but there's nothing here. Uh, completely abandoned. Looks a bit scary, actually. <laughs> okay, take out this one, and then we go for this one too. Oh, we're taking a bit of drone damage now. Recall them. It's good to set up a hotkey for your drones if you've got want to be able to recall your drones quickly. I have Shift F selected as my hotkey for redeploying drones. That makes it just like I can just click it quickly just when I see them taking damage. So the high reduce the amount of time there. I get even get slapped up by his NPCs. Drone abuse. Do not need drone abuse. We really do not need drone abuse. All right, we've got a second wave over here. Mostly in pair. No, it's, it's a mix of different things. I don't know if this maybe this Punisher who likes to brawl real close and personal. Let's see, I've got these Imperis too. The Imperis are very chill, very easy to kill them fast. They have low HP and they seem to be uh, quite slow because they've got like an MWD, so when they get close to you, they're going to go very slow and they're going to turn off the MWD, I think. You apply pretty decently to them, but I think all these Inquisitors, they're using Afterburners. It looks like their speed at least aligns with a frigate that would use an Afterburner. And just knock out these impairs real quick. We apply really good to them. Like, look, one shot the shields, almost one shot the armor. And there, there we go. Can use our drones just to speed us up a bit. We can't even shoot that thing over there. Let's go for this Inquisitor over here. Oh, it's a range. Are we in track and disrupted? No. Only 14 kilometer range. It's still not that great range, but it's enough to destroy these Inquisitors over here. The Caracal Navy issue. I wanted to initially, and when I saw that this event was released, I was like, yes, I'm going to use a heavy assault cruiser. So I fit a Munin, bought a Munin and everything. But then <laughs> I just realized, wait, uh, this is actually not allowing T2 cruisers because you can't. So I, was like, I went all the way to Minmatar space, bought, I, like I had bought a Munin, like a fresh Munin, fit it and everything. Then I moved it all the way to Minmatar space, and it is pretty far from Kaldari to Minmatar space. Oh, taking big damage on my drones over there. Oh no! Recall. See, he took like, one shot of his shield right there. But either way, I, I transported this moon in all the way to Minmatar space. And then I realized, wait, I'm not even allowed to go in here. It was, oh, that was, that was a real buzzkill. Spent so long. But. It's the worst the way it is. The best seems to be a navy cruiser or the quote unquote biggest kind of ship you can bring here. You can't have any special destroyers, unfortunately. I think destroyers are really bad for this event because they usually are not as durable as the frigates or like as all frigates and the cruisers. So they'll probably get killed pretty quickly. This random impair is just really far. We'll send our drones for this guy. And then we'll have our heavy assaults take out these cruise over here why are they whooping in on all these weird locations oh no drones warriors don't die warriors no warrior come on warrior you can do it oh, oh no why are they just afking out here i don't understand this like it's so weird this ai how it works it just baffles me sometimes lost a warrior a dear warrior Let's uh, see now if we can buy a new one somewhere. 300k. Look at this stock. Like, there's no stock. It's not even in heck. There's nothing in heck, it seems like. I don't understand this, seriously. Or maybe it's because we're in Heimata. I think heck is in Metropolis. That's probably why. I think Heimata is maybe a least, lesser populated area of space. Yeah, I think Metropolis is a more populated area of space if we are to compare it to the, uh, the Heimata region. But there is also a pretty bad sort of shortage in Heimata also going right now. I mean, Metropolis, like Heck region right now, because it seems like they just, people have been buying out all the items that are useful for this event. It's very annoying. Filthy scalpers. Just the nature of the economy. Just the nature of the economy. Yeah, we're getting close to this guy now that we've actually got a web of fire on him. I remember before when I was using a Tech 2 web, it was really hard to pin down these Inquisitors. Oh, boss is here. Boss time. Boss time. Hey, yes, look, there's nothing here. So it's chill. We don't even have to overheat. We just go here and just... And the Danky is gonna... Is he using a missile or what is he using? Is he using a missile? 
He's using beams. Okay, so what we do is orbit a 500. I think that'll be the best way to negate damage from this guy. He is orbifying us. That's a bit annoying. But I think we will have... He's probably using pulse lasers, actually, because I noticed you take a lot more damage when you're close. Probably has a short range. But I think if we just orbit like this with our afterburner, we'll be, uh, they'll he'll just be getting grazing hits or something like that. And our missiles won't care at all, like, that we're going with a weird transversal. So it's all right. We just orbit a 500 like this. Oh, we've got penetrating shot right in our face. But we're still tanking really good anyway. Pretty beefy, this Caracal Navy issue is. Especially with the C-type medium shield booster. There we go. Didn't even need to use our drones right there. He goes down very quickly. Okay. There we go. And we always have these kind of evacuation things spawn. It's kind of strange. Accuracy booster. Hmm. This is something we can get some more accuracy from. I can't use it actually because I've already put one of these earlier. A few hours ago. Yeah, you can see that one hour ago. I've earned a total of... Wait, we've got 500 right there? No, wait, what? No, 500? Maybe that was a stack or something. So I think this is then 70 million. So we've got then about, like, I think, oh, there's another one. Yeah, great. So let's get this, uh, let's get this second boss here. I think a, a total of about 50 million I've earned from these little encounters over here. But then probably we'll get in a bit more now. We've got this other one too. Let's get this, uh, it's nice that you get the second boss. It's very satisfying getting the second one of these. Okay, let's lock this guy up. Don't even need to lock up this weird Impera who's got some weird AI. He's just sitting at zero. You know, we can set our drones for him. Since he's so weird, this Impera. There we go. Have our drones wreck this guy and avenge the fallen Hornet or the fallen warrior. Then 100,000 per each one of these. So then it'll be like... 76 million essentially right there and probably we'll get 200 more from this one too so it'll be like 70 million in not a whole long time either oh wait we've lost a drone another warrior have we lost how how did we lose another warrior i didn't expect that impera to be so deadly bloody impera massacring my drones let's see we've got a dice of jade oh collector's item basic rebel and an accuracy boost then we've got bellicose i think we already had this one right here some agency hard shells can sometimes be quite valuable you can get like i've got a dose three once so this is what we've got here we've got some dan kits this is 90 million right here but i think i already had some to begin with but you can this is what i mean you can get some dan kits right if you are a new player you you would love this isk right here this would be amazing isk for alpha clones or new players so there we go. Caracal Navy issue absolutely stomping these sites. I think this is one of the best ships you can use for these uh, sites right here. All right, I'm going to go and sell these coins right here in the next system. Actually, I could have even sold them here probably. I think you can sell them in any Minmata stations. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.